Hey guys, it's Greg, and welcome back to another WordPress tutorial made easier for beginners. Today, we're going to learn how to set up self-hosted WordPress at HostGator so that you can make a blog or a website using the same amazing software that Forbes, Katy Perry, Time Magazine, Walt Disney, and more are using. HostGator has been our favorite web host we've trusted for almost a decade now, and they also have some of the web's best discounts on self-hosted WordPress that you can take advantage of if you're just starting out. You can complete this tutorial without any previous technology experience required, and everyone will walk away with a great looking website. Make sure to click show more beneath the video to get additional notes where necessary on the steps we cover. Now just sit back, follow along, and let's get started. Okay, so to get started, it's really easy. Just scroll down beneath the video and in the description, you'll see a link that says something like get started at HostGator and just click on that link. All right, and this will take us to the HostGator deals page we're gonna use today. So the way it works is you're gonna get the traditional web hosting, which is just the space you use to store your website. Every website needs some space. It stores the blog posts, images, videos, everything you put on the website kind of like a plot of land where you build a home. And along with that web hosting for $3 a month, HostGator is going to throw in the domain name and your website with WordPress installation, custom email address, a few other cool tools along with it. So pretty cool little special bundle here. And this is one of the more rare deals pages on the HostGator website and on the whole web in general. I'm not sure how long they'll keep it up. I know that's not really helpful, but bottom line is good work taking action today. Why leave for tomorrow what can be done today? All right, so let's move forward and just click this Get Started Now button and get your website set up. Great stuff. So now we're in the HostGator customer portal, HostGator order form, and you're in the right place. You're doing a great job. I'm going to walk you through all the steps here, starting with number one, choose a domain name. And then by the end of it, we'll be ready to purchase our new domain name and our new website. All right, cool. So I already picked out a domain name for the tutorial because I wanted to get it in advance, but right now is where I'm gonna walk you through registering your new domain name and also some tips for how to get the perfect domain name if the one you want isn't available, for example. The first tip I have is that the best place to start if you're not sure of a domain name is just your name. So you wanna control where your name.com goes so that someone can't put up spam or some weird website on it and it won't ruin your reputation. And if people search you on Google, this is what will usually come up, and so it's a great way of controlling what the world and your future employers see when they Google you. So I already have myname.com. My it's just a demo WordPress website, which totally describes me. But um, you're going to want to try yourname.com. The next tip is pretty simple. You want to get the .com because it's the most recognizable. People just assume like when you say that you started Facebook that it's facebook.com and not .net. Um, there's no negative like Google rankings effect on it like your business won't do any worse in Google if you choose .info or .club But it's just most recognizable and it's most profitable if you want to sell the domain name to have the .com All right, so we clearly can't get our name here even though we could get one of the other cool extensions that HostGator offers like .store But we want to go with .com so we're gonna have to add a keyword onto our name, which is my third tip There's nothing wrong with including a keyword that describes what you do and most often than not that'll be available all right so whatever it is you do whether it's music which i'm no good at or you know fashion also pretty crummy at that one need some help but then you can just get it and hopefully that'll be available that way you have your name and you're associating your name with one keyword which is a great start when you build your image in the eyes of google If you can't get any of these, you might want to go with what's called an exact match domain name where you try to get the domain name that's exactly what people are looking for in Google, like LA Plumbing Services, if you're a Los Angeles plumber. You're going to try to target some words like that that people will enter into Google, and then hopefully right when they click search in Google, your name will come up because it exactly matches the search query. That's just a little SEO trick. All right, so that's enough domain name tips for now, but if you need additional help, just drop your domain name ideas down in the comments below. All right, so like I said, I already bought a domain name. So if that's your case, you can just click I already own this domain name, but I'm actually just gonna simulate the prices of a new domain name for you. So we're gonna do Greg Narayan 
websites.com. With our domain name set, just scroll down and uncheck Add Domain Name Privacy Protection. Just adds to the cost, and you can always get it later if you'd like, but I don't usually use this because I trust people. In step two, it's really easy. Just choose a hosting plan. So we want Hatchling, which is the cheapest and most basic plan that they offer. And it's also the same Hatchling plan you'd get if you just signed up through the HostGator homepage. We just used our rare deals page to get it. Same plan. Next for billing cycle, I really like the 12 months option because it's the perfect amount of time to try out your website, try making some money, building that content, really figuring out how a WordPress website works and can work to your advantage. And we can also see here that this price is an extremely good price. So that's just another reason to use the 12 month option. That price of $2.58 a month blows other competitors like GoDaddy and Bluehost out of the water. So I really recommend going with the 12 months option. It's also what I signed up for first when I first created a WordPress website back in 2010 or whatever. But if you really do need to go with the three month or one month or different uh, term periods, even the longer ones, then you can go ahead and use our coupon, which is big bonus, and that'll save you the max amount of money if you use a different time frame. So we're gonna get 12 months, and then just enter in your username, pretty simple, and a security pin, which is just any four numbers. All right, now let's scroll down and we're gonna fill in all that billing info just like you would at Apple, Amazon, Airbnb, or any other online store. Next, you have the option to pay via PayPal if you'd like. Maybe your credit card always takes too long or you're an international user and you'd just rather use PayPal. I just use credit card though, so I get those points. Now we can scroll down and in add additional services, just make sure to uncheck them because we're building a website on a budget. I want to show you how to make a website in the cheapest way possible. And again, you can order these later on if you want. And in step five, it's time to simply review our order details. All right. So we're going to confirm right away that we get the $36 price. That's $3 a month for 12 months equals $36. You can pay attention to these numbers if you'd like. For example, the domain registration, it's gonna show is $5. And the way that works is if you wanna get the domain name and the website and the hosting, they'll package it all together for $3 a month and the domain name is technically free then. But if you don't want the domain name, then you can actually remove it. And like if you use this option at the top, I already own this domain name, then they'll take that $5 off your cost, which is really nice. I know other websites offer a free domain name, but it's only just like one set price, HostGator will actually reduce the price if you don't want that free domain name. Okay, so let me know if that doesn't make sense. You also have the subtotal, which is a much larger number and a discount, which is a, basically a bonus for going through our system here, our little process. Um, and I will note that if you do use my link that we signed up through to get to HostGator and sign up, this link right here, or if you use one of my coupons like Big Bonus, then I will earn a small credit from HostGator just for referring you to them. So I really appreciate it. It helps me keep making more free videos for everyone. Thank you so much. All right, guys, so now that we understand how the pricing works, we can go ahead and check this box right here. And I do recommend reading these links as well. And we can go ahead, we're now set to get our domain name and our web hosting for 12 months for literally the most ridiculously low prices on the web from what I consider to be the best hosting platform HostGator, the best place to get these two things and the best place to install WordPress because it's super easy and modern and fast. And we're gonna do that in the next step, but the only thing we need to do now just to get our domain name and hosting working is to click check out now. All right, so if you're ready, I'm ready, let's go ahead and let's complete the domain name and hosting. All right, let's do it. Congratulations and welcome to the HostGator family. When you see this screen, it's now time to check our inboxes. And we can come play around in the HostGator customer portal later on. Okay, so now that we've learned how to register web hosting and get a free domain name with it, we've gotten those two things registered and paid for as well. And we're gonna get a couple important emails. So here I am in my inbox and yours might look slightly different, I don't know if you'll have the palm trees, but it's gonna be almost the same, if not exactly, these two emails you get from HostGator, which we need to proceed 
and install our WordPress website. So the first one I want you to open is the sales one. All right, so in the sales email, and by the way, this is for a different website I set up. I've set up a lot of websites with HostGator. I'm just using this one because it's a good example. So you're gonna get some information and you can write this down if you want in like a Word doc, but I just like the method of never deleting the email. All right, so you're gonna get a billing account right here link, which you can log into to check out your HostGator, like billing, your packages, everything that's going on with payments. You're gonna get a control panel link, which is useful for doing web designer stuff, like uploading files or creating email addresses. And then you're gonna get some other important links right here and some passwords. Let's check out that other email, which is just billing. All right, and so billing actually contains this link right here, which I want you to use to go ahead and install WordPress. So let's click that and we can actually just log in on this link with the email address here and the password right here. All right, so this email is a little bit more simple, but both of them just say, thanks for choosing HostGator. Here's a bunch of important crap that you'll have to figure out. And that's where I'm here to help. All right, so let's click on this link. Very cool. And now we can just log in. All right, so remember to use that uh, email and password from this email right here, the billing email, and log in. It's loading up the modern, super snazzy HostGator customer portal, best in the business. And now we can just click on the Domains tab. All right, so I was just kidding. There's one more step to get our domain name and hosting working, and that's to make sure they are connected. So in a moment or two, um, hopefully right away, you'll see your new domain name you bought through HostGator right here. What you need to do is just click on the gears by it, open up your domain overview, and now we're gonna make sure that the name servers are entered correctly. All right, so mine are fine right here. I already uh, set them up. But what you want to do is make sure that name server one at the top and name server two beneath it match the name servers that you got in your sales email with your account info. And you're going to find them here in first name server and right below in second name server. So if they're not the same, just go ahead and copy the first name server, copy it and go over here and click change. And now you can delete name server one and paste in that name server from the email and delete name server two and grab the one from the email. All right, so copy and paste. Perfect. If those name servers here already match the ones in your email, then you're fine. But um, sometimes they don't for me and I like just doing it manually here so that now you understand how to set name servers or point name servers, same thing and just so we can uh, get moving in the quickest way possible. Now just click save. All right, very good. And we're gonna close this gear icon and scroll up and click hosting. Hosting, as you can see, is where most of the fun goes on here. You have all these different options. HostGator is set up with cool website builders and Google Suite and all sorts of stuff like that. But um, what we wanna do is just move forward and launch quick install because that'll help us install WordPress. All right, I also go to file manager a lot. This is where I do like web developer stuff like upload custom pages and you know move websites around. But we're gonna keep it simple and just launch quick install right here. Next, we just want to scroll down and choose WordPress free. Click that. All right, and now we're getting all set to install WordPress under our domain and hosting. You can see we're in the WordPress installation window here. And we just need to select our domain for installation. All right, so click this drop down and hopefully it's a little easier to find your domain name than it is for me. I've uh, definitely gotten some work in on a lot of different websites over the years. All right, there she is. Leave the directory box blank, don't even click that. And now we can just click next and we're not gonna let a pro do it for us. We're not gonna fall for any of that nonsense. Just click next and we'll do it for free. Now I'll write in a blog title. So I'm just gonna call this um, exactly what the domain name is. So I just have set up a wordpresswebsite.com, which would be an exact match domain name. 
and yeah, I just want to use this one because it's one of my domain names that's open right now. There's nothing on it. All right, and your admin user. So you're going to use the admin user to log into WordPress. So just make it something simple that people can read. This will show up on your blog post too, like buy this. So don't do like tennis fan 9942 or something like AOL like that. Don't do that. All right, first name, last name, and admin email. Make sure you get that email address in there right because you'll get your WordPress login sent there. Now that this looks good, we can just agree to these terms. Definitely recommend reading them and click install. All right, so this is gonna install WordPress onto your host, your domain name, and it's gonna require a ton of code, um, like all the C plus and JavaScript in the world. No, I'm just kidding. It, this does all the code for us. All right, so let's do it. All right, there's Snappy, he's doing his thing. And installation complete, looks like it went well. We got the green check mark. And you should also get an email from the HostGator Marketplace saying install complete. All right, so what comes next? What do we do on this screen? Well, your best bet is to keep the screen open right now because I know everyone likes to keep it open. It makes people feel safe. Um, but if you close it, it's really not a big deal. So keep it open and what you wanna do is just visit in a new tab, that part's important, your domain name that you install WordPress on. So mine is setupawordpresswebsite.com. I'm not using that Greg Narayan website's one right now. And then we're gonna click forward slash wp-admin and that's how we all log into WordPress forward slash wp-admin all right it might seem like a lot of typing but it becomes second nature and just hit enter all right and so my domain name isn't quite loaded up yet so we're just gonna wait a second but if yours is you're welcome to proceed with the tutorial because we're gonna log in and then create a website with WordPress um, but for now it's a really good time for me to just go on a hike and get a snack I'm going to come back in an hour and we're going to go ahead and log in because it should be working then. All right, so I'm back from my break. If you took a break too, I hope it went really well. And if you're on your website right now, I hope you can see the login screen. I just refreshed it and I got the WordPress login screen that all the businesses and celebrities and everyone who uses WordPress uses to log in, this same one. If you still don't see the screen, then I recommend just giving it a little more time. When we did that name server step, that can take time due to a process called propagation where your domain is updating across the web and servers are updating and just the quick install process can take some time um, for your files to set in place. Just give it time, time fixes everything. All right, but now that we see the login screen, I hope all you can too and we can proceed. We just need to get the name and password from quick install right here. So the name is hard for me to forget password is really crazy need to copy that and come to our WordPress login screen now let's log in for the very first time just paste it in that password I'm gonna click remember me and I'm also gonna bookmark this link so we can be really lazy if we want and we don't have to type in the full WordPress login link which is just your name.com forward slash WP dash admin and we'll log in hope it works hope it works Yay, it worked. Excellent. So you now have a WordPress blog and you have a domain name that we got for free with the web hosting and the tutorial is done. You may listen to this network with assurance that all sources of news will be properly labeled.